come back with this icy blue look. For my foundation, I'm using the Glossier Stretch Concealer in the shade Dark. So this is a great product if you want a natural dewy finish. It has beeswax, avocado oil, jojoba oil, cocoa butter, and these are all really great ingredients for a natural dewy finish. To apply it, I'm just using my hands. The warmth of my fingertip is really going to melt the product into my skin. I also really love that you need a little bit of this product and it goes such a long way, hence the name Stretch Concealer. Once the product was really pressed into the skin, I went back in with a dampened sponge by e.l.f. Cosmetics and just really continued to press the product into the skin for a really natural finish. To conceal under my eyes, I went in with Fenty's Matchstick in the shade Caramel. And I really love um, this product for concealing, correcting, or contouring. They're really layerable, they're buildable, they're a cream to powder formula, they're weightless, they're really easy to blend, and they just stay put all day long. To blend it, I'm just using the same e.l.f. Cosmetics sponge and just making sure that everything is nice and blended, really patting the product onto the skin. For this look, you can also skip to the eye part first and then come back to skin if you're scared of fallouts. But I promise that if you try these techniques, you should have little to no fallout. For my eyes, I'm using the Chromographic Pencil in High Def Cyan. And this is such a great color for this look. It gives the eyes just like a really beautiful, bluey, silvery look, which I feel is going to be so fire for the holidays. So I'm just drawing in the overall shape, which is more or less a cat eye and then just very lightly blending the product on the rest of my eye to really fill it in because again you don't want it to be as pigmented as the actual pencil is because this pencil is so pigmented like it's such a true cyan color. These pencils are also really great. Um, they're long wearing, they're water resistant and if you ever have clients that have contact lenses these are perfect. To blend it, I'm just using a really fluffy brush by e.l.f. Cosmetics and this is a great blush brush because it's flat but fluffy. So opposed to using like a regular flat brush that's used to apply pigments on the eyes, this one's a little less dense so it just really fluffs out the product. Just cleaning up the overall eye shape with a wet q-tip and you really want to take your time with this step since it is an eye look. Once you have checked for symmetry, you can go in with a Super Shock Shadow Ultra Glitter in the shade Sugar and really press that shadow onto the lid. So the pencil gave you a really nice sticky base for the pigment, so it's just going to look really, really shimmery and beautiful. You want to get the brush as close to your lash line as possible so that you don't have like any gaps between your lashes and the overall shadow. And you can be pretty freehand with this because we are going to go back and clean the shape out again.
once you're done pressing with the brush, you can go back in with your finger to really amplify the super shock shadow. And I don't know what happens, it's like magic. Once you use your fingertips, the shadow just really comes to life. And this shadow is so beautiful. It's like an icy blue. It's almost like a periwinkle color with like a silver sparkle to it. It's really, really beautiful. And here we go again, cleaning out the overall shape with a light Q-tip. And take your time on this stuff, like I said. This is a really easy way to clean up any fallout. Um, because the Q-tip is wet, it's gonna pick up any like little glitters or particles that are on your skin. I feel like this is such a cute look for the holidays. I mean, this is like an everyday type of look, but imagine not popping up to your family dinner is like, hey, with this cute look. All right, now I'm done. For my brows, I went in with a Glossier Boy Brow, and this is in the shade Black, and just brushed it through my eyebrows um, so that I could have like the ultimate boy brow. And then I went back in with a clean spoolie and just really brushed the hairs up. If you have any excess product on the skin, go back in with a clean Q-tip. That must have been a dirty Q-tip. <laughs> go back in with a clean Q-tip and just go around your eyebrows to pick up any excess product. So here you see it a little better. I backcombed the uh, eyebrow hair first to coat both sides of the hair. So this really, this is great if you have like really stubborn brows gonna lay them down so easily and then I brushed them up with the clean spoolie and you can use the one that comes in the product but um, I don't know I like using a clean spoolie I just feel like I just don't waste as much product because sometimes I have to clean the brush and I don't want to waste product like that Brows. For my eyelashes, I used the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, which is um, crazy. It's infused with polymers, collagen, biotin, protein, peptides, all kinds of crazy revolutionary mascara stuff that really plumps up your lashes. I mean, look at my lashes. They're like so dark, so full, so big. Like, uh, guys, I'm still in shock. Like, this is great. For my contour, I did the MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Powder in the shade NW48 just to warm up the perimeter of my face. So I want it to be nice and blended. I don't want any harsh lines, so that's why I'm using a nice fluffy brush. And excuse like the um, movement lag. I accidentally had my camera set to the wrong setting, but if I don't do a video now, God knows when it's gonna happen. Okay, so for my highlighter, I am using the L'Oreal Invaluable Galaxy Stick, and this is a multi-use illuminating stick in the shade Cosmic Pink, which is so beautiful. Do you guys see that beautiful pinky glow? So cute! I love it! Blending it in with my sponge. And highlight for days. And it is a cream highlighter, so it's not going to go on like too strong, it's not going to come off too strong, but it's going to give you the glue that you need. And if you were doing this in a photo shoot setting, like really pressing the product like underneath the eyes and on the cheekbones is going to give you such a beautiful outcome. 
because I didn't only just take it on the high points of my face, I took it a little bit underneath my eyes so when the light hits it, it's almost like my whole face turns into an angel. Perfect. On top of that, I took the MAC Cosmetics Vanilla Powder and really pressed it onto the skin as well for an even more angelic glow. You can use a fan brush, a fluffy brush, your fingers, whatever it is that you want to apply this um, product with. Um, I just like to keep my tools as minimal as possible, so I just use the dampened sponge to press the product onto the skin. For my lips, I'm using the Glossier Lip Gloss, which is the best gloss ever. And surprise, surprise, no blush this time. To finish off the look, I went in with the Evian Face Mist and just kind of misted my skin to give it an even more glossy look. And it also wets the eyeshadow so it makes it even more metallic. And bam, you're done.